Good afternoon, everyone. My name's Ken Gwines, and I'm the senior developer for the Excel Trade Analyzer. In today's presentation, we're going to discuss using our Smart Analyzer, our latest revision that just was released in uh, May of this year. There's a few things we need to do up front to set up your analyzer. And as you can see, we have a user manual built into the file so you can get full detailed uh, descriptions of how to set the analyzer up and how to use it. The first thing you want to do is go to your end of day trades sheet and move over. I have already I have already uh, inserted one month of data in this uh, ninja file, but the first thing you'll want to do uh, when you open up your file is to go to the manage accounts in the end of day sh sheet and set your account balance. I've already put some data in here but you'll just want to go in and set your account balance that you're using uh, for Ninja Trader. Once you've done that you just hit apply. Manage your risk. I like to set a scratch limit for $15. If I scratch out, I like to uh, track my scratches and how often they occur. And then my stop limit, I usually take a 12 tick stop. So trading the futures, that would be $120. And then you just say apply. Now the next thing you need to do is take a look at your saved trade data uh, from your Ninja platform and check the date stamp of your uh, saved data and see if it's reporting your trades in your time zone. If it is, then you just need to put a zero here. If it's not, then make some adjustments to fit it to where the analyzer will automatically convert uh, your time to your local time zone. Once you've done that, then you want to go down to the symbol table because the analyzer can calculate your commissions, you just need to take a look at what instruments that you uh, currently are trading and make sure that uh, by going to the broker's report and see how much commissions they are charging you plus the exchange fees and any other costs and put it in here. You can change these numbers here. These are just generic that I've put in. And you can change any one of these numbers uh, to fit your commission that you're being charged. As everybody can understand, there's different commissions uh, charged by the traders based on their maybe their uh, account balance is large or their frequency of trading that they've given that. Uh, so um, just go in there and you'll see we not only have the futures that you can trade, we also have the Forex that you can now trade with Ninja in there. You just need to figure out if there's any commissions there. If not, just leave them blank and it won't charge. And then, of course, there's over 6,500 
stocks in this symbol list that you can set up your block costs uh, for your commissions on your stock trades. Once you've done the symbol table, then all you need to do is go over and you can go to your template sheet and you will see there are some brown coated cells in here that allows you to actually customize this level to fit your style of trading. You can go in there and change both the description as well as the code for it uh, for you to for you to customize the analyzer to fit your style of trading. Maybe you don't use buy setups or sell setup. Maybe you use Fibonacci indicators uh, for your strategy entries or maybe Bollinger Bands or Market Profile. You can go in and change any one of these here and of course change the codes. And then you can go down your management style. Maybe you're not a scalper that you trade off the 5 minute or 15 minute. Uh, then you can put the, your management style in here. Then you can move over and set up the time frames that you typically take your trades off and of course change the codes accordingly and then maybe uh, you don't take all your trades yourself maybe you use a scanning program or even maybe in a chat room you may uh, take trades with Billy Bob so you can set all of these up as well as your time of day If you're pre-market, then you would just use pre in here. And, of course, your error codes for your daemon chart. Maybe uh, these are not the types of errors you make. You can easily change these. I just put them in so you'd have something to work from. Now, in this first presentation here I have already created some December 13 trades I've only used four days of trades but uh, you can see here how it sorts the symbol whether it was a buy or a sell on the entry the filled quantity of contracts the filled price, the exit price, when you got in the trade and when you got out of it. As well as this created the p and L. It's also created the commission, whether it was a long or short, and whether it was a winning trade, a scratch, or a losing trade. Now this is where you can go in after you posted your day's trades and now fill in these blanks with the generic setups that I have. I had a buy, that was a buy sell up. I scalped it on a two minute time frame. It was my trade and it's first period of the day at 9.50 and my error code. Once you started filling these in you'll start seeing how your demon chart populates. You can see I had 25 percent of my trades for December were nice trades. 30 percent 
were early profits. 15% I anticipated the entry. 5% too tight of a stop. My big demon here seems to be I let it pull back too far and I did that 20% of my trades I let it pull back too far. So it gives you an instant view of how you're trading, where you need to focus to fix your demons and start really making some money. Now once you spend a little bit of time in setting up your analyzer for your style of trading and the way you trade and created the managed risk and account balance and conversion table, you're ready to actually start posting some trades. So here we are going to open up my trades. I'm going to open up January because we've already I've already posted December's. So I'll open up January. Use Control C to copy. Then open up my analyzer. Go to end of day trades. And in A7 cell, you use Control V to paste them right into the analyzer. It's that easy and that quick. Now, once you have your trades pasted, in here I pasted five days of trades. I just hit post a month. And it's telling me that the current year is 2013 and I'm putting in trade data for 2014 so I need to tell it to reset analyzer for 2014. All the sheets, the total sheets, the P&L batting average and sharp as well as your equity graphs. And then it tells me it's January data so I need to create a new January month which it just did. And now it's posting the trades automatically right into the January. Day by day it takes and processes the trades. Just give it a few minutes. It will process all your trades. In this case I had five days of trades. Okay. Now that you've done that you need to go over and fill in your custom codes that you've designed in the template. So again, my setup for this long was a buy setup. I scalped it, the time frame was on a two minute, source code it was my trade, and the time of day was again pre-market. And my error code was an error code 2, which actually was an uh, early profit. I didn't let it reach the target. And you can go right through your day's trades. Typically, most people will be putting a day's trade in. Um, each day at the end of the day and it will be easy to keep track. But I have created a daily trade log right here that actually gives you a way to print this log, put it on your desktop and as you're in the trade, I feel it's a cheat sheet. While, while I'm in the trade, 
I can just jot down all of these variables so when it comes at the end of the day it's nice and easy to quickly input all your trades without having to go back and look at your trade look at the setup on your charts and figure out what you did so I just keep this on my desktop and while I'm in the moment I just fill in all the trade data that I need to fill in for my customized trades Now I'm not going to go through and do every one of these. It will just be time consuming in this presentation. But I think you get the full understanding of how you can customize this analyzer for your style of trading. Once I've done that, then I just go in here, go back to my template, January 14th sheet, and I post all my trades. you'll see by using that post all dates it will update all the charts uh, and graphs as well as uh, I see uh, NQ was a new trade I just started trading on the 14th so uh, now you can see instantly a basically a no-brainer which one of your instruments is making you the most money and you should again focus on that instrument if it's making you the most money once you get through then basically at the end of the day just go back hit your post all dates and it will update all your charts and then go on down it'll update the next day's charts and that's all we've got to do to use the ninja level 2 smart analyzer it'll think for the trader and just gives you some options to agree to or select as it processes all your trade data automatically I thank you for this time viewing this presentation and if you have any questions please feel free to contact me at support at xltradeanalyzer.com Thank you and enjoy your day of trading.